Um, I thought I'd show you my Game Boy collection. Um, I have about 78 games. Uh, most of them are loose. I also have a f uh, four boxed copies. Uh, I forgot them in the shelf here now, sorry. Uh, Pokemon Red and Xenon 2 and Marble Madness, which is actually sealed. I'm not gonna open it because I already have Marble Madness for other consoles, so... And Donkey Kong Land. And that's it for the boxed ones. Um, I'm gonna go through my my loose copies here. We have Tetris, which is the most classic of all Game Boy games, I would say. Um, the Jetsons. Uh, it's from Taito, but it's nothing. It's not not so great. I don't know. I was playing it for quite a while, and I uh, just got kind of frustrated with it. Uh, I'd not necessarily recommend buying it. We have Bugs Bunny Crazy Castle. I really like the Crazy Castle games. I think they're they're quite nice. Actually, Paperboy 2. I think there are better Paperboy versions on other consoles. Uh, the Jungle Book. Kung Fu Master. At least it has really nice label artwork. Can't remember how the game plays though, but... Um, oh, I don't know. I love these games I haven't played so much because Somehow I, I end up playing the Super Nintendo and the NES much more than the, the old Game Boy, so... Uh, Donkey Kong. Uh, Final Fantasy Mystic Quest. Okay, here's a really nice one. Um, I think it's... Um connected to the Ghost and Goblins universe. It's Gargoyle, Gargoyle's Quest. I don't know, I was a bit skeptical to buying this one just because of the the label artwork. Uh, I don't know if the Japanese or the US version looks different, but uh, I don't know, the artwork here looks pretty horrible, but just if you come over this at a flea market or somewhere, just, just pick it up. It's a really nice platformer, so I I recommend that one. Oh, shit. Sorry. It's a bit difficult to open these with one hand. Mario and Yoshi. Looney Tunes. Don't think I've played that one so much. And... Uh, Here we have Super Mario Land. I must have finished that game between 50 and 100 times. It's uh, quite easy, quite short, but it's a really nice game, definitely. I guess everyone who has owned a Game Boy has played Super Mario Land, so I guess I don't need to introduce that one. Super Mario Land 2, 6 golden coins. This is also a really uh, amazing game. I think. Super Mario Land 2 and Super Mario Land 3 are probably the, in my opinion, the best games for the system. Definitely get that one if you if you come across it. Then we have Donkey Kong Land. I guess this is um, the cartridge that belongs in the box that I have over there. I'm not sure. And Power Quest. I thought this would be kind of like a Mega Man ripoff because of the cover artwork here, but it's a, it's a kind of a it's a fighter. Well, I didn't play it so much. It looked pretty okay. Looked pretty nice. I don't really play fighters so much on the Game Boy. I usually play newer fighters. Um, David Crane's The Rescue of Princess Princess Blobette. This is the sequel to A Boy and His Blob for the NES, um, and uh, I like those games, I think they're nice. Donkey Kong Land 3. 
Taffy Dock. And Turrican. I have this for the Amiga, but um, I'm really. Uh, I'd like to get the Super Nintendo version of it. But I haven't been able to find it so far. This is really great Metroid 2 Return of Samus. It's um, also one of the best for the Game Boy, so definitely get this one if you find it. Ow. See if I can open this. Um, Gremlins 2, the new batch. It's made by Sunsoft, so I thought it would be a bit better than than it is. It's a pretty decent platformer, but nothing too special. And then we have Wario Blast featuring Bomberman. It's um, it's Bomberman, and I really like Bomberman, so. Um, I would say definitely get it. It's, uh, if you like Bomberman, then, then you should get that one. It's a really good Bomberman game. Uh, Balloon Kid, also a good one. Let's see if I can open this. Um, pinball uh, Revenge of the Gator. It's a nice pinball game. Kirby's Dreamland 2. I finished the first one, but I haven't uh, gotten around to playing this one so far. Uh, really nice game here, Kid Icarus. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's the sequel to the, the one on the NES, I think. It came after the NES game. Double Dragon 2. This one I also have it on the Super NES. Zool, Ninja of the Nth Dimension. It's a platformer, which is a quite decent platformer. Uh, Pung, I think this might be called something else in the in the States. I'm not really sure. Uh, it was one of my favorite arcade games as a kid, uh, and yeah. It's a pretty nice port on the Game Boy. And lastly, for this first part of my video, we have Bubble Bubble.